Welcome back, Quincy Wells. Today we're gonna do a 2G, four inch pipe, schedule 40. This is in the 2G position, horizontal. We're gonna do a 6010 root, 6010 hot pass, 718 filling cap. I'm running a 116 gap and 116 landing. We know the technique. It's a whip and pause. You ignite your arc, stay perpendicular to the pipe. Loop out, come back in, pause. Loop out, let the keyhole pull, come back in, touch the keyhole. Loop out, come back in, loop out, come back in, loop out, come back in. The whole way through. If you haven't already, hit the like, smash the subscribe. My teddy bear thanks you. So does the kitten. Meow. Step number one. Bevel. Step two, wire wheel or clean the paint off of the side of your pipe at least one inch from where you're gonna be welding. I use a flap disc. Make sure it's clean at least one inch from the bevel. Your bevel's nice and smoothed out. I have a 116 landing, I make sure it's all the same all, all the way across. Step number four, tack it. Decide what your gap is gonna be. My gap is gonna be 116 of a gap. My landing is also 116. And I use tape wire, that's 116 inch thick. I do this. Once you tack it, make sure you have a wedge standing by just in case because it will either close or open depending on how you do it or where you do it. Always make sure it's nice, leveled, and even all around. Now you're ready to tack. People, I know people that tack it in four places and they weld like a clock. Uh, from noon, from 12 to three, from three to six, six to nine, nine to 12. I know people that do three tacks, even people that do two tacks. I'm trying uh, two tacks, my wedge, for when it either closes up on me on one side, I can open it from the other side. Always double check your work before you do it. And then check it one more time before you even weld. Give it a nice fat juicy tack. Once it's all tacked up, always feather your tacks. The mender. DST280 running 6010 stiff for penetration. About 60. This is a 6010 root pass. So what I'm gonna do is wherever I start, I'm gonna wait for the keyhole to come in. And then you're gonna hear a the gur gurgle, making sure that it penetrated through the other side. You pause for a slight second, you whip out, come back. You whip out about a, an electro diameter away, come right back, wait for a slight second. Push out, come back in. 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 Pretty much allow, you whip out to allow the keyhole to pull momentarily and then you come right back in to refill it. You whip out, come right back in to refill it. Always try to keep your, your electrode perpendicular to the pipe. You always want to kind of facing straight to it, like a 90 degree angle straight to the pipe. Sometimes it's easy to lose the angle, but try to fight it. I adjust myself a little on the uncomfortable position. So when I'm coming, I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I get comfortable. But that's just me. If you have any tips, tricks, let me know. I'm open to them.